Hello and welcome back to module 10 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3. This is unit 2 of workflow settings, submissions. The submission section is where we'll configure and input submission guidelines for others, submission checklists, metadata requirements, and other related materials. To access submissions, head to your dashboard using the link in the top right corner of your journal's homepage. In the left navigation menu, we'll go to the workflow settings. On the last unit, we work with our submission components preferences. This time we will work with the remaining options on the submissions tab of the workflow settings. The first tab is disable submissions. These can be used to prevent users from submitting new articles to the journal. However, doing this limits submissions to the whole journal. If we wanted to disable only a few sections, we should go to our journal settings and disable individual sections. To disable submissions, you can just click on the box and click on save. Metadata allows you to enable metadata fields that can be filled in by the author at the time of the submission, as well as to indicate whether these metadata elements should be a part of the submission form. The advantage of allowing your authors to complete the metadata is accuracy and detail. The disadvantage is potential inconsistencies in terms throughout the journal as you'll be using individual free text rather than applying a controlled vocabulary. Be sure to consider your journal's needs and goals while making metadata element decisions. The next tab that we'll be working on is Checklist. The Submission Preparation Checklist is aimed at helping authors ensure that everything the editorial team needs is included in their submission. This has been pre-populated with default items but these items can be edited or deleted if they are not relevant to your journal. To access these features, we can click on the expansion arrow to see the delete and edit buttons. You can also add items using the add item button on the right top hand corner of the box. The add item wizard only has one field, which is a box in which you can describe the new checklist item. Once you're happy with the changes, we can click on save. We can also order the checklist by clicking on the order button and then dragging and dropping every item. When we're finished, we can click on done. Let's continue to the author guidelines. This is a section over which you have complete content control thanks to the rich text editing box. Bibliographic standards Formatting requirements and timeline expectations are some of the information elements that would be appropriate here. You can also add in a copyright notice to which the authors have to agree as part of the submission process. This notice will be also displayed on the submissions page. When we're happy with the changes, we can click on Save. Let's take a quick look at how the changes we've made we'll look to authors making submissions. On our homepage, let's hover the About link and choose the Submissions page. First, we can see the Submission Preparation Checklist, which matches exactly what we saw on the dashboard. Following, you have the author guidelines. You'll note that while I'm logged in in my Journal Manager account, an edit button is visible beside the different information blocks on the page. Clicking on this will bring us back to the submissions page in the workflow settings of your journal. The only thing not visible on this page is the submission metadata section, which impacts the actual submission process within the dashboard. This will be discussed in more detail in the editorial workflow in OJS 3.3 course. And that concludes our overview of workflow settings for submissions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next unit.